It is six shots, 64 ounces. Is that OK? Yeah. It's a lot That's of That's a cool. very large drink. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> We left off in the last episode with Debbie getting ready for a blind date and her trying to make Colt jealous. Hey, Eddie. <laughs> That's cute. Flirt a little bit. <laughs> but it was just weird and didn't really work. Maybe don't do that. No? And now her date has finally arrived. So let's see how this goes. Awesome. I'm going to go good. Oh my God. You stay here. I'm so excited. Debbie is nervous, and for some reason, I am too. I hope this man is someone that enjoys going out, having a cocktail, you know, having fun, and yeah. definitely having a sexual relationship. Is anyone going on a date not looking for that? Also, has anyone else felt completely unprepared for how much we've learned about everyone's sex life so far this season? At this point, I think I'm becoming numb to it. You know, by my age, you're really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> you know a lot of things. Okay, maybe not completely numb to it. That comment made me shiver. Hi. Hi. I'm Edward. Edward, I'm Cole. Nice, nice to meet you, Cole. Uh, yeah, my mother just be a second, so okay. I'm wait for her. Here is Debbie's date. I still wish it was Big Ed and not this Edward, though. I mean, they had some real chemistry at the tell all. I think it's time for Cole to get off the nipple, and you need to stop fighting. Oh, you. Oh, my God. Fuck oh. you. <laughs> that crossover would have been great. Hello. This is Debbie. my mother, Debbie. Nice. nice to meet you, Debbie. Nice to meet you. I hear a hint of an accent. Yes, oh. I'm uh, originally from Manchester, England. Oh, all right. Colt does this weird arm thing to try to look intimidating, but it doesn't work. So, well, have fun, you two. I will. Okay. No funny business. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Bye. <laughs> also, Vanessa was the one that supposedly knows this guy and set up this date, but she hides awkwardly in the doorway. Why you being weird to me? Debbie's into the guy so far, but her date doesn't seem as impressed. Does your son always kind of meet your dates at the door and be the god that he was today? <laughs> A note for next time, Debbie, don't let your 35-year-old toddler answer the door. Anyway, I just got a tattoo, so it's like, okay, I never had a tattoo before. Do you have a tattoo? No, I'm not into tattoos. I'm not either, but I got this one. Okay. I was hoping the tattoo would be a good conversation starter. What else you got, Debbie? I have cats. Want to see mine? This is Cookie. She's quite beautiful. No, that's OK. I don't need to see her. Wow! Oh, you're right. <laughs> she's quite pretty. What did Vanessa think these two had in common? I'm going to guess nothing, and she just wanted Debbie out of the house. That way, her and Colt can get naked and play out one of his erotica novels. Ugh. What if we were in a graveyard at night? Really spooky one, abandoned. Stuff like that, or like the Civil War. Okay, watch your step. So what's your impression of Debbie when you first see her? Um, actually, I thought she looked a lot older than I, I expected, to be honest. Aw, oh, darn. He says he's enjoying talking with her, but by the look on his face, he's already over this date. Drinks? Drink. Do you drink? I do not. Really? I know. Yep, they really have zero things in common. And I'm starting to think that Vanessa is an evil genius. She somehow got Debbie to believe that her and Colt would continue to live with her after they got together. Then, she convinces Colt to have Debbie move out after they get married. Debbie was so blindsided that she must have thought they wanted it to be the three of them living together. And somehow Debbie is mad at Colt, not Vanessa. And now Vanessa has set her up on a date with someone that Debbie has nothing in common with. At all. I'm on to you. Anyways. Hi, can I get you something to drink? Something I to would eat? love a scorpion. It is and six shots, 64 ounces. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Six shots? Whoa. Tell me you're nervous about your date without telling me you're nervous about your date. When she ordered the drink with the six shots in it, um, I thought I'm definitely going to be carrying Debbie home tonight. Too bad he doesn't really want to carry her home, though. The most excited he's looked this whole time is when the waitress came over. It's a lot That's of a cool. very large drink. Yes. Thank you. A six-shot drink has to be the bar version of ordering a lobster on a date, right? I ordered a drink that had six shots, but I didn't feel bad. <laughs> if he doesn't drink, then that's his problem. This is a reminder to subscribe to this channel. If you don't, you will be subscribed to Colt's OnlyFans account. Oh, yeah. What is your opinion on sex on the first date? 
Hmm. I'm confused. Didn't he just say he wasn't into her? I don't know. I mean, I'm not against it. I, I'm not right. It depends. <laughs> She's like six shots in. Sir, this is not the time to give her mixed signals. There's some guys who are in their 40s who need little blue pills. But I'm a lucky that I don't need a little blue pill. <laughs> so I'm hoping to be having sex when I'm in my 80s. Um, good for you, I guess? He asks her what she wants to do after he has to carry her out of here. Did he just change his mind and now wants to hook up? Or is he just trying to end the date? I have no idea where this date is going, and I... Would like to think it has a really good outcome, but I don't know. I have no idea. The only thing I know for sure at this point is that Debbie is drunk. I just think he's adorable. <laughs> she says he can bring her home and give her a kiss on the cheek. But we all know that look says, meet my cats and let's hook up. And I'm not looking for a hookup, but if it happens on the first date, that's amazing. So I'm hoping to get a kiss on the cheek. And have a naked sleepover. Are you allergic to cats? I am not. I'm oh, not, yeah. <laughs> I am more of a cat person than I oh, am. Oh, are you? Really? Yeah. He helps her out of the car and then quickly tells her he's not into her. So did you have a good time? I did. I really enjoyed it. Good. How about you? I did. I do have to say that I didn't feel a love connection, though. Okay? And he didn't even get to meet her cats. Yeah, that's okay. I understand. But, uh, mm -hmm. I know. I hope we can be friends. Yeah. I'd like that. Bye, bitch! So it was, like, a little bit hurtful. I am in the friend zone with him. I've never been in a friend zone with somebody I've gone out on a date with. Oh, I'm actually a little sad for Debbie. Yeah, I don't want to be in the friend zone. I want to be in the fucking fuck zone. If he wasn't into her, I don't know why he brought up all of that talk about not needing a blue pill. That waitress he liked must have been an earshot. Is it worth the hassle? I mean, I'm happy in my life. I have my cat. I do what I want. I have my friend. I think she is just lonely because Colt is busy with Vanessa. She really thought it would be the three of them living together, and now she's getting left in the dust. Do you think Vanessa really thought this guy was a good match for Debbie, or did she get set up to fail? Edward and Debbie had nothing in common. What do you think? I think Vanessa is an evil genius. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye!